I'm Nisa with Ignite, and today I have a great five-step medicine ball workout for you. So I'm going to go ahead and bring Landry in. Go ahead and come on in, Landry. And as you'll see, we have this medicine ball here. It's a six-pound medicine ball. Medicine balls come in all different weights. I like the six because I think it's not doesn't put a strain on your body, but remember, it's always about what's best for your body. You can get them in all different sizes. This is a six-pound, and we're going to start with Landry holding the six-pound medicine ball. She's going to begin with just a basic overhead knee tap. So Landry, go ahead and turn this way, reaching high above your head with the medicine ball, engaging the glutes, the core. She's going to bring the medicine ball tap to her knees and then lifting up and down. Her goal here is to not round her back. Landry, round your back for me. If you're inflexible, that might be what you do, just to try to make contact with the knee to the ball. However, if you can't make contact knee to ball, don't worry about it. What I'm most concerned with here is just your alignment and your core control. If this is too much on your shoulders, what I want you to do is just hold the medicine ball out in front of you and just bring your knees up to the medicine ball. That's perfect. You're going to do these for a set of 20, 20 reps. Okay, perfect. Rest, Landry. The next is a squat to a chest press. So go ahead and get close up to this column. And we're going to throw the ball to the column. However, what I want you to always be cautious of when you're throwing the ball up against a wall, it could be the back of your house, it's going to come back to you pretty quickly. It's all about power and momentum. So what you're going to do is squat, keeping good form, weight into your heels so that your glutes can become engaged and active and be working. Belly button's pulled in and on her way up, she's going to toss the ball and catch it. Just a basic chest pass. So squatting here, trying to make it right here in front. There you go. Scoot back a little bit. See how it comes back to her pretty quickly? So she's going to want to scoot back and pass just like that, doing it pretty quickly. You're going to go for 20 reps. So as soon as you catch it, you're down again. So squat. To, there you go, right there. That's the perfect momentum that you're looking for because that's going to get your heart rate lifted. It's going to work your muscles even harder. Perfect. Yes, Landry. Oh, great. The next is a jumping jack to military press. Also another set of 20 reps. All of these are 20 reps with a 20 to 30 second rest time in between. So holding the ball right here, she's going to do a basic set of jumping jacks while pressing the, the ball above her head. So take it out and in. That's perfect. So this is cardiovascular. Anytime you're taking your arms above your head, your heart rate is going to lift some more, which is great, which is why she's going to be winded as soon as she does 20 of these and probably is winded right now. If you want a low impact version, what you're going to do is just step it out from side to side without the jumping jack. So just step out. That's perfect. Perfect, just like that. And then, if your shoulders bother you, you want to hold the ball, the ball right at your chest and just do a basic jump out and together, out and together. You're still getting the good benefit of a basic jumping jack with an extra six pound, up, six pound weight in your hands, and that's going to be great for your trunk, your core, rest. Perfect. The next is a sumo squat to high toss. So a sumo squat is a little different than a basic squat, and that's because it's wider. So it's going to work the lower body, the legs, a little bit differently than just a basic squat. So facing this column again, go ahead and straddle the mat, Landry. So your legs are pretty wide and your toes are opened out, almost like a plie squat. That's going to target the abductor, excuse me, the adductor muscles a little bit more. So she's going to squat nice and deep, and as she does, she's going to toss the ball as high as she can. If this column were higher, she tossed it as high as she can to catch. So you want to absorb, as soon as the ball comes to you, take it back down to the squat, just like that. That way she's going quickly, but she's keeping this great form. If you need to slow it down to keep your form right, that's always most important. Perfect. That's it. Look, excellent. She's still getting a great workout working upper body, working core, working lower body, that's perfect. And the last exercise of the five is a kneeling overhead tricep toss. So go ahead and take it to your knees, pretty close to the column. But you may always want to change your distance between you and the column after you've done a couple of reps. So Landry is going to firm up her glutes. She's going to tighten up all through here, pull the belly button in to engage the core and to protect all of this area, all of her lower back region. She's going to work the hamstrings, glutes, core. She's going to take the ball, lift it above her head. Arms right here at a 90 degree angle. What I don't want of Landry is for her to take this ball too deep. That's going to put a strain on her elbows and her upper body and it's going to cause an arch in her back. 
So instead, she's going to hold this pretty much a 90 degree angle. Elbows are pulled in. She's going to toss the ball and then catch. Perfect. So the goal here is to keep all of this area stabilized, your trunk, your lower body, so that you're working the triceps, but as you're engaging all of this area, it has to work the whole time in order to keep you tall and lifted. Do a couple more, Landry. Let's do three and two. Last one. Perfect job. Go ahead and come to a rest position. So real quick workout overview. You want to do each exercise for 20 reps total with 20 to 30 seconds of rest in between. Repeat that, those five workouts, or those five exercises rather, two to three times. Remember, you want to challenge your body, but you don't want to injure your body. You have to know what's best for your body. So two to three circuits total, 20 to 30 seconds rest, 20 to 30 seconds rest in between each workout. And then finally, I want to leave you with this quote. This is our quote of the week, which is, one day your life will flash before your eyes, so make sure it's worth watching. And that's by Ger Gerard Way. We love that quote. We believe that life is to be lived abundantly and filled with joy. And we just hope that you will do that and have a great day.